If you fill a bucket with water and try to climb into it, you will see that a certain amount of water spills out. This is true of any object immersed in a liquid. But what is the quantity of water that gets displaced? Let us conduct an experiment to understand. For this we need a spring balance, potato tied with thread, water jug, overflow vessel, beaker and a beam balance. Fill the overflow vessel with water, empty the water from the beaker under the overflow pipe, place it back under the overflow pipe again. Take the spring balance and measure the weight of the potato in the air. It weighs 125 grams. Now immerse the potato in the overflow vessel completely. Observe the potato which displaces some water. It overflows and collects into the beaker. The balance shows the weight of the potato in water is 13 grams. It is less by almost 112 grams. Now let us measure the weight of the displaced water. The balance reads 110 grams. It is almost equal to the weight lost by the potato when submerged in water. The 2 gram error is because of water lost while changing containers. This is what the Greek scientist Archimedes meant when he said that when an object is immersed in a fluid, it will seem to lose weight and this apparent loss of weight will be equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. This principle is popularly called the Archimedes principle. The loss in weight experienced by the potato is because the water exerts an upward force known as upthrust on the potato. The weight loss is only apparent because if you take the object out of the liquid and reweigh it, it is seen to have its original weight. The Archimedes principle can be used to determine the purity of any material because the presence of any impurity will affect the amount of apparent weight loss. You should know that Archimedes discovered this principle when he was trying to find out a way to check whether the jewelers who had made King Heron's crown had used all the gold they had been given or had used less gold and added some impurities instead. It is said that Archimedes discovered this principle when he was in his bathtub and his own body had displaced water. He ran down the streets naked, shouting Eureka!